All right, so this is the second half of uh, the two-part series, I guess, on fielding, since YouTube won't uh, let me upload a video longer than uh, 15 minutes. So let's get back to fielding the boat. All right, so it's been a couple days since I did the the tack fillets. Um, I ended up removing some of the, the zip ties and bailing wire on this side, but then I, I realized I... I should probably um, put a epoxy or a coat of epoxy on the transom before I do the the final filleting, um, just to seal that wood. Um, even though that um, uh, it will get um, let's see uh, sealed by I guess the epoxy in the fillet, I would I feel more comfortable with sealing it with just um, raw epoxy or just epoxy itself before I do the filleting work. So we'll just seal that up um, uh, with just some regular epoxy. All right, so I got the uh, coat of epoxy rolled on um, and then with some um, just leftover epoxy, I ended up mixing in some filler and that I have um, for the, what I use for the for the tack fillets and just went along and filled the 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 opening or the space uh between the transom and um the bottom of the boat so just so that i don't have to fill it up uh when i'm doing the rest of the fielding just thought i would do it now so we'll let this uh sit for um for a day or so and then we'll come back and we'll do the final fielding or the the big fielding on the bottom of the boat all right, so we're going to start doing uh, the fill, the final filleting work on uh, the boat. I'm going to start on, on this bow piece right here, doing um, these two chunks um, right here. Um, I ended up uh, just taking, this is from a spindle sander, um, the, the sandpaper for it, um, and just going over it and scuffing it up to get uh, the bond that I need um, for the pieces to be able to go together. Um, now I'm only going to be doing the, these two for right now, and then I'm going to be letting it cure actually. And that's because of how the transition will work down here on the bottom, uh, chine, um, fillet. And when you're doing filleting, um, and there's different intersections coming together, at different points, um, it's best to do those, um, all in different, um, filleting times just because it's going to get messy in that um in the joint where it all comes together so in this case down there it's just going to get messy and it's not going to look as nice um and with what uh, doing it in chunks um i'm going to be able to when i'm doing this bottom ch the bottom chine piece is i'm going to be able to come with a fillet and then just kind of keep going and not have to worry about that uh fillet um right here affecting it it's going to be hard so i'm going to be able to just kind of go smoothly over it so the next thing that we're going to do is uh mix up some epoxy and put some of the um filler in it to thicken it up in peanut butter um then we're going to be um you know using the pastry bag to put it on um but to to get the nice fillet use filling stick so this is the stick that i will be using um kind of like that you can see there, where the light is that's what um that's where the fill it's going to be um i i picked these up from chesapeake lightworks they have just like a, a kit that they come in so there's just different sizes um all depending on on how the pieces come together is the different shape of the fillet so you can see right here what that looks like it's a different slope but if you go like this well you know it would be good for something else this is a very um open angle so you need a bigger um uh radius to get uh the fillet that you want so we'll mix up some epoxy and start getting work on this all right, so I got these fillets all done. They turned out good. You can kind of get a view right here. So one thing that I want to share is that, so when you run the tool um, over the, the um, epoxy, you're going to get kind of squeeze out, you would say. Uh, I'll point out, um, on like 
on the side. Um, you can kind of see right here, there is this kind of line difference that you can tell. And it's a pretty straight line. And you achieve that by using something like this. This is a piece of, I think, 330 or 132nd um, G10. Um, Russell Brown um, has a book called Epoxy Basics where he talks about it in there. Uh, he, a great book that's not very long with just a lot of great information, a lot of great pictures. Um, and so in the book, he, he says this is how he does it. So it's just a piece of G10. Um, I think this is five eighths inches wide. Um, and then you cut um, an angle on it and then you um, get it sharp. And so then what you do then is that you, you ride along and you push down and then all the epoxy will um, be scraped off with this and then you just discard of it. Um, and that helps you get this, um, uh, the crisp lines and, and such with it. So, um, We'll let this uh, set up um, now for 24 hours or so, um, and then we'll come back and um, uh, we'll sand it then, and we'll, then we'll um, pick up the filleting on, on the bottom pieces. All right, so it's the next day. Um, these two fillets have uh, cured enough, so I, I went through and I cut all the the um, wire ties and uh, bailing wire on this side of the boat. I'm gonna fill it this side first. And then I went in and I sanded all um, uh, the tack fillets down. So we're gonna go through and do um, the filleting work on this side. I'm gonna have to use um, a couple different filleting tools to do it. Just the one good thing to do is, um, before you actually start filleting, is to go through and just check uh, with different filleting tools um, what ones you're gonna have to do um, along the joint, just as a good thing to do before you start actually filleting because you're racing against the epoxy curing. Um, so we'll get to filleting uh, this side. All right, so we got the first side all filleted. Turned out very nice, I think, overall. Very smooth. Um, yeah, very pleased with how it turned out. So again, I'm just it was just the regular two to one Raka epoxy. Um, and then it was a combination of their cavasil or 50% cavasil and 50% of their brown spheres uh per volume. So I just took a, a cup and poured it in. So and then it was let's see three ounces of three ounces of epoxy to nine ounces or with I have one of these little measuring cups so um, I have a I cut it so it's three three ounces so I put in three of those and it turns out awesome for this uh, fillet so we're gonna let this uh, cure now over the next twenty four hours and then we'll come back and then we'll uh, do the other side and finish it up. All right, so I got the other side all filleted. Turned out well like the other side. So very pleased with how it all turned out. So that'll be it for uh, this part of uh, the build. Um, I'm going to let this set up for a couple days. And then in the next episode or, or next part, we'll start working on um, the taping uh, or the sanding and the taping of uh, the joints. So be watching out for that video um, probably in, the, in a week or two. But until then, thanks for watching.